Everyone wants to know what's happening with the interest rates. I feel like every realtor I follow on social media has posted that the rates have come down significantly. What's happening? So we're finally starting to see rates come down. And the main reasoning for this is we've been waiting to see two things. And that is one, that inflationary numbers are continuing to go down, which we've now seen month over month over month, which is a good sign. And secondly, we need to see softening in the economy. And unfortunately, that means higher unemployment, less jobs created, less money being spent. I get it because it's a double-edged sword, right? So it's like, we don't want to see people lose their jobs. We want to see the economy continue to roar. But unfortunately, again, in order to see rates come down, we need to see softening in that sector, which we're finally starting to see. So where, let's say, almost two months ago, 60 days ago, rates might have been on a 30-year fix on average in the mid-sevens. We're now approaching the point where they're in the mid-sixes. We're getting to the low sixes at some point. Should I advise my clients to wait a few more months before they should, you know, start looking because the rates will continue to decline? Isn't there a Fed meeting happening in September, which, like, once they cut the rates, like, they might go even lower? Well, let me, first of all, dispel the myth of when the Fed cuts rates. I want to just mention that that's the federal funds rate. That's not mortgage rates, okay? The federal funds rate is tied to, let's say, auto loans, your credit cards, to home equity lines of credit. Now, mortgage rates will follow suit. They tend to correlate. But when the Fed cuts rates a quarter, are you going to see mortgage rates on that day drop from six and a half to six and a quarter? No, that's not going to happen. Again, there is a correlation, but as we're anticipating that the Fed will cut rates in September, the market's already pricing that in now. Traders, the market, everybody, they're pricing in a quarter rate point cut, and therefore one of the reasons that you've seen rates lower dramatically over the last week. Now, come Fed Day, when they, let's say they do cut the rates, what we're more inclined to see, or what we want to see, is right after they make their monetary policy. What do they say in their post-Fed press conference? Do they say, hey, in terms of our outlook and timeline, we're anticipating maybe another rate cut in the following month, maybe two before the end of the year. What are we seeing for next year? And again, if they give a sign, an inclination as to, hey, we're seeing the progress that we need to see with inflation, with the economy, and we are planning on potentially doing other rate cuts, you'll see the market that afternoon take suit and see rates start to, again, potentially come down given that they're anticipating that rates will lower in the future. So back to your question of, should I wait? Is it a good time? There's no way to time the market. And we don't have a crystal ball to say rates will be a half a point lower. They'll be a quarter point lower, whatever it is. So for your clients, for your buyers out there, the better question is, based on where rates are today, does the monthly payment work for me now? And hopefully, and knowingly, that there's brighter horizons coming up. There's optimism in the future that whatever payment that I get now and whatever rate that correlates to, hopefully in a year from now, six months, a year, 18 months, whenever that is, when rates do go down, I'll be able to refinance my loan, get a lower rate, and thus having a lower payment that's more manageable. Since the rates have come down recently, do you have people reaching out to you to refinance, the ones who locked in high rates at the end of last year? Yes, I've got a ton of clients that we closed in the last year, two years, that all have higher than market rates of where things are today. So one, I have clients reaching out to me consistently, but also me and my team are constantly reaching out to our clients to give them an idea of where the market is, what rate that, you know, potentially they can get today and how that relates to their monthly payment and what they could be saving. We're always working our database, working our clients, making sure that that our clients have the best rate, the best payment that the market has to offer. So would you say it makes sense for someone who, let's say, locked a seven and a half to refinance now, or perhaps should they wait till maybe early next year? For some people, I would say, depending on their loan amount, it'll make perfect sense to refinance now. And for some, they might want to wait a little bit depending on the situation. So for example, if you have a loan of a half a million dollars, you know, a 1% drop in rate is, makes a huge difference in terms of your monthly savings. But if you have a loan amount of 80 grand, 80,000, 1% might not make a huge difference in your monthly payment. So it's all proportional. But regardless, what I would tell you is if you kind of figure out what am I going to be saving, not only saving in terms of the rate, but the other thing that I want to kind of highlight is for a lot of people where they had 
private mortgage insurance or they have PMI, the more equity they have, maybe they won't be able to eliminate their PMI altogether, but they can get that dramatically reduced. So not only can you save on, on the rate and the payment, but then you can save on your PMI as well and or potentially get rid of your PMI altogether. There's two components there in terms of potentially maximizing your savings, depending. And also in terms of, is it the right time? Should I wait? What I would say is that we're probably going to see rates continuing to go down in the future. And I don't think this is going to be an overnight thing. It's going to be gradual. So for a lot of my clients, I'm telling them, you're probably going to refinance multiple times. I mean, you might be at seven and a half and right now you can refinance at six and a half and maybe in a year from now or however long that is, maybe we'll refinance again when you're at five and a half. Do I see rates going as low as, as they were during COVID? No. Rates in the twos and threes, that's not realistic. Those are once in a lifetime pandemic specials. But do we get down into the mid fives, low fives, maybe the fours at some point? In a stabilized market, sure. So you can't time the market. It's not always the best to wait. When the savings is good for you and it makes sense, I think it's a great move to start the process. And again, knowing that you'll probably, again, potentially do it multiple times. So if anybody has any additional questions, wants to start on the pre-approval or talk to you about refinancing, how should they reach out to you? You can email me directly at scotty at ccm.com. Drop me a line and me and my team will reach out and make sure you're, you know, you're well taken care of.